Blessed is the Virgin, who by denying herself and taking up her cross, imitated the Lord, the spouse of virgins and prince of martyrs. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. King Antiochus was making his way across the upper provinces. He had heard that in Persia there was a city called Elimaeus, renowned for its riches, its silver and gold, and its very wealthy temple, containing golden armour, breastplates and weapons, left there by Alexander, son of Philip, the king of Macedon, the first to reign over the Greeks. He therefore went and attempted to take the city and pillage it, but without success since the citizens learnt of his intention and offered him stiff resistance, whereupon he turned about and retreated, disconsolate, in the direction of Babylon. But while he was still in Persia, news reached him that the armies that had invaded the land of Judah had been defeated, and that Lysias in particular had advanced in massive strength, only to be forced to turn and flee before the Jews. These had been strengthened by the acquisition of arms, supplies and abundant spoils from the armies they had cut to pieces. They had overthrown the abomination he had erected over the altar in Jerusalem and had encircled the sanctuary with high walls as in the past and had fortified Bethsur, one of his cities. When the king heard this news, he was amazed and profoundly shaken. He threw himself on his bed and fell into a lethargy from acute disappointment because things had not turned out for him as he had planned. And there he remained for many days, subject to deep and recurrent fits of melancholy until he understood that he was dying. Then summoning all his friends, he said to them, sleep evades my eyes and my heart is cowed by anxiety. I've been asking myself how I could have come to such a pitch of distress, so great a flood as that which now engulfs me. I who was so generous and well-loved in my heyday. But now I remember the wrong I did in Jerusalem when I seized all the vessels of silver and gold there and ordered the extermination of the inhabitants of Judah for no reason at all. This, I am convinced, is why these misfortunes have overtaken me and why I am dying of melancholy in a foreign land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. See how my enemies turn back, how they stumble and perish before you. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. 
You have wiped their name forever and ever. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. The nations feed have been caught, in the snare they lay. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the hopes of the poor be in vain. I will rejoice in your salvation, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Saviour Jesus Christ has done away with death and brought us life through his gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who say there is no resurrection, approach Jesus and they put this question to him. Master, we have it from Moses in writing that if a man's married brother dies childless, the man must marry the widow to raise up children for his brother. Well then, there were seven brothers. The first, having married a wife, died childless. The second and then the third married the widow. And the same with all seven. They died, leaving no children. Finally, the woman herself died. Now at the resurrection, to which of them will she be wife, since she has been married to all seven? Jesus replied, The children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead do not marry because they can no longer die, for they are the same as the angels. And being children of the resurrection, they are sons of God. And Moses himself implies that the dead rise again in the passage about the bush, when he calls the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of, God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him, all men are in fact alive. Some scribes then spoke up. Well put, Master, they said, because they would not dare to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For his will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may graciously watch over her and care for her. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the peoples of all the world, that the Lord may graciously preserve harmony among them. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For all who are oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord may graciously grant them relief. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and our own community, that the Lord may graciously receive us as a sacrifice acceptable to himself. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O God, our refuge and our strength, 
hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself the source of all devotion, and grant we pray that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.